Approved use. Amovig, Irinumab AOOE, is a prescription medicine used for the preventive treatment of migraine in adults. Important safety information. Do not use Amovig if you are allergic to Irinumab AOOE or any ingredients in Amovig. Please see additional important safety information later during this video. Hi, I'm Joni. So you've been prescribed Amovig. I've been using it. So now I'm all about using my auto injector to help reduce the days I have migraine. Let me show you how. Like you, my doctor prescribed Amovig for me. First thing, her nurse showed me how to inject and said it was really important before I inject myself for the first time that I read and understood the instructions for use, or IFU for short. It comes with the medicine. Definitely read it all. It's worth the time because it covers everything you need to know about how to inject with your auto injector. There's even a commonly asked questions section in case something goes wrong and I want to know what to do. If you would like more training, you can contact your doctor or Amavig support services at 1-833-AMAVIG. I want to know I'm doing everything the right way. That's why I got to know all the features of my auto injector. There are two different auto injectors for Amavig. You use them in the exact same way, they're just different colors depending on what amount of medicine they hold. If your doctor prescribed you 70 milligrams, you'll get this auto injector with the purple start button and a white cap. If you were prescribed 140 milligrams like me, you'll receive this auto injector with a gray start button and an orange cap. See this big start button? You can't miss it. It tells me this is the top of the auto injector and this is the bottom. Smart, right? And this window, it lets me know when my injection is done, which is why I don't take my eyes off of it until I see a bright yellow window, but more on that later. So following what I learned in the IFU, let me show you what I do. There are four steps to keep in mind. Prepare, get ready, inject, and finish. And now, after using Amavig for a while, I've definitely learned a few things I can share. To start, I take my auto injector from the refrigerator and get it to room temperature before I inject. It takes about 30 minutes to get to room temperature. I use that time to prepare everything else that I need. Alcohol wipe, cotton balls, a bandage just in case, and my ever-present sharps container. That usually takes just a few minutes, so I use the rest of the time to just relax and do something I enjoy, like read, watch TV, or sometimes walk Duke to get some fresh air. Then I make myself comfortable. When it comes to the injection, first I pick my injection site. Today I'm going to use my thigh but I can choose my stomach area here. If someone else was to give me the injection, they could use the outer area of my upper arm. Look back at the IFU if you're not sure where to inject. So first, because I've been petting Duke, I'm gonna wash my hands. Next, I'm going to clean the area where I'm going to inject. Then I pull the orange cap straight off. If you're using the 70 milligram auto injector, this cap will be white. Next, I stretch my skin super tight to make a really firm injection site, about two inches wide. I can also pinch my skin like this, as long as I have that two inch wide injection site. Then I make sure that the big gray or purple button is on top, the orange or white cap is off, and I position my auto injector at 90 degrees, push down firmly, and press the big gray or purple button to start. Sorry I'm not looking at you now, I truly keep my eye on this window. It can take up to 15 seconds for all the medicine to come out, so I watch for the window to turn bright yellow. Once I see the window turn yellow, I know it's okay to lift the auto injector straight up, and I'm done with my full dose of Amavig for a month. Now it's really important to dispose of the auto injectors and the caps safely after use. The sharps can be dangerous to others, like children and pets. Like my precious buddy here. There are different ways to get a sharps container. You can find them at most drugstores, or you can contact Amovig Support Services for help. If you want to know more about sharps containers and needle disposal, visit FDA.gov and search sharps containers for more information. So those are the four steps. 
Prepare, get ready, inject, and finish. Injections are not my favorite, but taking a medication once a month that could help reduce migraine days is worth it to me. Take care. Come on, baby. Let's go. Approved use. Amovig, Irinumab AOOE, is a prescription medicine used for the preventive treatment of migraine in adults. Important safety information. Who should not use Amovig? Do not use Amovig if you are allergic to Irinumab AOOE or any ingredients in Amovig. Before starting Amovig, tell your healthcare provider, HCP, about all your medical conditions, including if you are pregnant or plan to become pregnant, breastfeeding, or plan to breastfeed. Tell your HCP about all the medicines you take, including any prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, or herbal supplements. What are possible side effects of Amovig? Amovig may cause serious side effects, including allergic reactions. Allergic reactions, including rash or swelling, can happen after receiving Amovig. This can happen within hours to days after using Amovig. Call your HCP or get emergency medical help right away if you have any of the following symptoms of an allergic reaction. Swelling of the face, mouth, tongue or throat, or trouble breathing. Constipation with serious complications. Severe constipation can happen after receiving Amovig. In some cases, people have been hospitalized or needed surgery. Contact your HCP if you have severe constipation or constipation associated with symptoms such as severe or constant belly pain, vomiting, swelling of belly, or bloating. High blood pressure. High blood pressure or worsening of high blood pressure can happen after receiving Amovig. Contact your healthcare provider if you have an increase in blood pressure. The most common side effects of Amovig are pain, redness, or swelling at the injection site, and constipation. These are not all of the possible side effects of Amovig. Call your HCP for medical advice about side effects. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov slash medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. Please see accompanying Amovig full prescribing information, including patient product information, on this website. Thanks for watching. And one more reminder, read the instructions for use before you inject.